Hi, everyone from News Channel 5 Weather. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham. It was a very messy morning for some of you, and with some of the heavy rain, it produced some localized flash flooding out there with high water at times along uh, Highway 109 up in Sumner County. Look at these rainfall estimates. These are six hour rainfall estimates ending at 8 o'clock this morning. And along and north of I 40, you had areas with one to three inches of rain, and so that triggered some issues out there. Meanwhile, you got into Columbia, Lawrenceburg, Tullahoma. You're thinking, what's the fuss? Very little going on your way. This area of rain will push south and east, but it won't be as pronounced as that happens as a cold front will move across the area. Check out exact track showing still some of the morning rain more heavy over the northern counties and then more of a hit miss pattern east and southeast. So there could be a few more flash flood issues, localized flash flood issues over the northern counties before things improve a little bit later. Come here comes the cold front behind the front. Temperatures go from the 60s into the 50s. Some of our southern counties, you may even flirt with 70 a little bit this afternoon, late morning, afternoon before the front moves your way. Here's how real sky plays it out. Temperatures on the warm side, mild side this morning with a wind northwest at about 5 to 10. And then those temperatures dropping as we work our way into the afternoon. A fair amount of cloud cover over the Mid-South tonight. But notice if you're out and about tonight, 54 at seven o'clock this evening. Here's a look now at your seven day forecast. We're in the 60s today and then falling into the 50s. Tomorrow's high just 59, 41 tomorrow night, 41 Wednesday night, meaning some outlying areas could be in the could be in the upper 30s, 64 on Thursday, 66 Friday, 61 on a Saturday. Our weather artist today Cold winters, cold giving us an ominous scene there with the rain and the lightning. So Cole is back at beach after being on fall break last week in the Sumner County area that's up in Hendersonville. Meanwhile, our school of the day is just a reminder. If you want your school to be a school of the day, send me an email at leland.statum at newschannel5.com. <laughs> Right now in Nashville and around the Mid-South, temperatures are going to be in the 60s this morning and then falling into the 50s later today. And then overnight tonight down to around 48. Uh, for tomorrow, 59, 41 tomorrow night, 65 on Wednesday, 64 on Thursday. Then some rain chances in for Friday and Saturday. Make it a great day.
This is a News Channel 5 update. And you can see the wipers going uh, really quickly. Uh, looks like they're along the east bank here, I-24, and they're kicking up the spray just about This is a News Channel 5 update. Flynn still has that right lane shut down as a result. Let's see where we